Hey guys, I'm Meteorologist Chris Tomer with this afternoon weather update. We'll look at some new numbers, some trends, and all of that. Uh, and I want to show you my bullet points, though, right now. Um, so looking at this nice bullseye setting up with three or four different slugs of moisture, different storm systems that will nail the Pacific Northwest BC. So you got Whistler included, you've got Baker, Stevens Pass, Rainier, maybe even down to Timberline. So we'll look at that coming up. And that's going to take us from like afternoon of 2-3 all the way to 2-10 to get to push all those slugs of moisture through. Um, and what will help to kind of rein everything in is a storm system on or about 2-5 that will bring snow back to the interior Rockies and California. California on around 2-5. And that snow will blast into parts of uh, Utah, Colorado, especially Wyoming, Idaho, Brundage up to Schweitzer, look to get a fair amount, big sky. So all of that we're going to look at in my forecast. I'm going to have a little bit of fun right here. I want to show you the uh, visible. It's a completely clear afternoon here in Colorado. So I want you to notice a couple of things. I'm going to zoom in even more. So um, let me take this off so I can actually navigate this. So look at Utah and Colorado. There's basically devoid of clouds. So all the white, that is snow cover that's not moving. Visible satellite like an eyeball looking down from space. This is what you would see with your own eyes if you were looking down from space. <clears throat> look at Colorado. Look at all of the snow cover. This is all snow over Denver, the Front Range, and the Eastern Plains. So that's snow. Um, this is all, of course, snow. You've got your northern mountains, your I-70 corridor, and then you've got the San Juan, San Grays, all of those showing deep snowpack over 100% of average for all of those locations in Colorado. It's been so good. Um, let me zoom out just a touch here, and we'll look at Utah. Same kind of thing. Let me take that off. Same kind of situation, Utah, seeing lots of snow cover. Wyoming. Look at Wyoming. Wyoming is almost completely covered in snow. It's incredible. And of course, you know the, the big atmospheric river just pounded the Sierra. I mean, look at all the snow. We're starting to see some high clouds spread in, but let me just mark this so you can see it. There's Tahoe, and you've got all of the snow all the way from Tahoe and Shasta down to Mammoth. And we've got a little bit more in the forecast. It's not going to be an atmospheric river for the, rest, for the West Coast, but some very heavy moisture in the forecast. I wrote about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com, Pacific Northwest Bullseye Snow Forecast through 210. Um, I put a special feature on here, season to date snow, Brighton and Alta Snowbird at the top of the list, all over 400 inches, all at about 440 to 475, somewhere in there. Um, so doing really well in the Wasatch. Mammoths at 385, Kirkwood, Palisade, all there. Jackson Hole's at 317. But what's interesting is Steamboat is right there with Jackson Hole, both at about 315. That's really something. Steamboat has the most snow of any resort in Colorado right now at 312. Who else we got? Vales at 236. Um, Aspen Highlands at 252. Um, according to AspenWeather.net, my good friends over there, Ryan and Corey operate that. If you haven't uh, looked at it, check it out. It's uh, Aspen Weather. They have an app that you can download, and you can see cumulative snowfall for the area. Um, so let's see what else we've got here on the page. So I also looked at the setup, um, the forecast pattern, which I think I've got loaded in here full. Let me take that. All right, so this is the jet on 210 in between storm systems for the interior Rockies, so it's quiet with a high pressure ridge over the interior Rockies. The west coast is bracing for another storm. You can see the pinch in the jet. That's a storm system, a trough of low pressure swinging in, so it would be active for the west coast about 210. All right, let's look at the forecast. Um, oh, I didn't put it in today. I'll have to catch that later. But let's go into forecast totals. Those are my numbers for this from this morning on the page. Let me show you my numbers for this afternoon. And I've got two specialty maps, so hang on for those. So here's the rest of today through 2-3. Very light snow. Most of it's in the Pacific Northwest, kind of down to Shasta. Not much happening. All right, here's the second period, 2-4 through 2-10. Big snow, 1 to 2 feet for the Sierra. Uh, it's on or about 2-5 with that storm system coming in, 2-5. And then maybe another storm system around 2-10. 
6 to 8 for the Wasatch, anywhere from 6 to 10 for Colorado. Uh, about two feet for the uh, the Tetons. I like what I'm seeing there. Big Sky, Brundage up to Schweitzer. Looks good, 8 to 12 for those areas. There will be some blow-off into Revelstoke. I've got 10 there for the period, but the, obviously the big numbers are at Baker, Whistler, Rainier, Stevens, down to Timberline. Um, you're looking at uh, 1, 2, 3, maybe 4 feet of snow during that period. Um, so a really deep flow for that area. Specialty map, Colorado. Um, rest of today through 210, a grand total map, anywhere from 6 to 12 um, along I-70 and north. You can see the numbers from the Continental Divide through Summit County and west. Second specialty map for the Pacific Northwest. These would be grand totals, 2-1 two, the rest of today through 210. But remember, most of the snow here falls 2-3, late in the day, 2-3 through about 210. So we're looking at 3-4. Uh, feet of snow roughly for most of these places. Rain here gets a little bit more. And again, some blow off into Revelstoke, Red Mountain, Schweitzer, Brundage, and Silver Mountain. One more stop. Some light accumulation on the way for the northeast. Anywhere from one to four inches. We'll do it with a couple clippers and that's probably going to be it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here for this afternoon weather update. Always appreciate it on this 1st of February. Take care, guys.